I know that there are huge names in Hindi. Yeah, like uh, we have Mr. Perfectist as Mr. Amir Khan. Amir Khan. Yeah, and then we have the King of Love as Shah Rukh Khan. Shah Rukh Khan. Khan. And then we have Mr. Vita Bachchan, who is the grand doyen of the Indian film industry. Uh, no. he's, he's a perfectionist and he's on time. He, he respects the industry yeah. and he does only what the producer and the director ask him for both. Uh -huh. So he loves that. Then we have our Muslim man, Mr. Uh, Salman Khan, uh -huh. the real actor. And then we have Deepika Padukone as uh, actress. So yes, uh, they are now big names uh, all over the world. Uh, known to the definitely the Indian community across, who have settled across the world. But then to the other people also and the right. film industry also. Hi, I'm Marcy Lepidus Hamilton, and my company is Tricos Worldwide, and we're thrilled to be here uh, in India at the India Soft Dimension, and IMET uh, is one of the sponsors. And uh, this has been really, truly, uh, just a terrific experience for me. I've never been to India before, and my first stop here was to go to uh, Adra, where I visited the Taj Mahal, and that was very exciting, and, and uh, I absolutely loved it. I also loved when I was there the, uh, the production uh, about the uh, Taj Mahal and explaining uh, the whole story. So it was really wonderful. I loved it. Uh, loved visiting the Taj, loved the shopping, the antique stores, and uh, it was just really terrific. I spent the night there, so I left it. So here I am back here now. Uh, the group that I met group, I think is, uh, I don't know how many people, 20, 30, 40 people, uh, at all in the industry, the uh, film and television industry. And uh, I, I don't know, and I didn't know anyone coming here. Uh, and so I've met some lovely people that, so, you know, we had the opportunity to spend some time and, and talk about our common interests. And probably a third of the people uh, we may and might be doing business with me after this. So it's really been a terrific. And, uh, you know, I love coming to conventions like this because the opportunity is about uh, much greater than during the pandemic when we had all the Zoom meetings. In person, there's just nothing like it. The, the events, uh, the way they have it set up is, I think it's a great opportunity to meet everyone. Uh, if we, we have pre-arranged meetings uh, every 20 minutes, a new dance partner. And, uh, but it's plenty of time to, to you know, like a good day, what you're looking for, what, what they're looking for, and to see if you have common interest in the kind of the meetings you can, you know, uh, you know. It's, so, uh, personally, for Tricoast, uh, we're buying and selling. We're looking for movies that uh, some of these uh, companies will have from their various territories, whether it's Spain or uh, Kazakhstan or uh, Vietnam, all over the world. Films that uh, which interest both the United States, States market uh, or that we might be a sales rep for, agent for, for the rest of the world. And um, and then we also have a library of over 4,000 titles. And uh, of course, we're looking to uh, sell the films and the ads around the world. So we have the opportunity here to present these titles and uh, for airlines or different territories. Of, of uh, depending on what they're looking for, if it's uh, sci-fi or horror, and what about various genres? We have a lot of over four thousand titles, and uh, so we have the opportunity to present those uh, at this market. So it's it's very good for that. We also uh, our company uh, started uh, into this new area of apps and fast chats. We have two channels. Right now, one is called Dark Matter TV, so we're actively looking for the genre titles 
for the uh, for that channel, sci-fi, horror, action, crime, etc. From all over the world, we took it on that channel. And our brand new channel is called Made by Self TV, which is a lifestyle channel for crafting, uh, doing yourself, uh, painting, or handicrafts, uh, or so forth. And of course, that's an activity that takes place around the, around the globe. So every territory will have their uh, unique um, indigenous well, activities of yeti grass. And India is filled with them. So I'm very excited. Uh, we're actually setting up a partnership uh, with, with a company here that we met, who, that introduced us to the uh, Indian uh, handicraft market. And we had, uh, we're going to be setting up uh, a partnership uh, so we'll make it that anti pillars and we will look it in on our channel, Make Myself TV. So we're very excited about that. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, in terms of uh, uh, making movies here, uh, that's also a very real possibility. As, as we uh, have more and more partners in India and, and have more and more conversations about the uh, conference, uh, but then we can see what kinds of films we to develop together and perhaps shoot here in India. I'm very excited about coming to, to India and, and uh, it's a high opening to me. Uh, the people are so friendly, the opportunities are balanced here. And uh, I, I can see that we may open up some more doors and do more and more business uh, here in India. What channel is exciting about here? What's really important uh, these days for us anyway, and I think for a lot of uh, American companies, is we're, we're very happy and we think it's important that you have your local stars from India or France or Germany or wherever you are as part of the co-production. But it also must have some world-class stars that are Hollywood names or out of the UK or even out of Australia, names that everybody knows. I know that there are huge names in Hindi. Yeah, like uh, we have Mr. Perfectist as Mr. Amir Khan. Amir Khan. Yeah, and then we have the King of Love with Shah Rukh Khan. Shah Rukh Khan. Khan. And then we have Mr. Vitaab Bachchan, who is the grand uh, of the Indian film industry. Uh -huh. he's, he's a perfectionist and he's on time. He, he respects the industry yeah. and he does only what the producer and the director ask him for book. Uh -huh. So he loves that. Then we have our muscle man, Mr. Uh, Salman Khan, uh -huh. the real actor. And then we have Deepika Padukone as an uh, actress. So yes, uh, they are now big names uh, all over the world. Uh, known to the, definitely the Indian community across, who have settled right. across the world. But then to the other people also, and the right. film industry also. So what I think would be important though, is to bring in some other names as well. Some American names, yeah. or, or British, or yeah. Australian. From, from the a joint, a joint can, can yeah. be made as, as one of the movies which was made with and um, Trikanti by yeah. Richard Nettenberg, which was made way back uh, in the yeah. 80s. So, so I understand Always, what you're saying. Yeah, that's uh, what's important. Because what we care about is sellability. Yeah, you know, if someone's it's business gonna, ultimately. It's business, if, if, you know, show business, it's business. <laughs> uh, just for knowledge sake, yeah. uh, what do you think would be a figure that a movie which is successful, of how much money it should make, uh, to become a successful movie for a producer. Uh, the amount that we should gather from all sources of income. And that the budget of the movie is fifteen million dollars. We have made it. How much of money should it take in from all sources of selling the movie? That it should be considered as a good uh, income which has come to the producer or on the company, and they are everybody is happy, knocking to the back. Um. If a budget of a film is fifteen million dollars, uh, U.S. dollars, well, out of the you would need at least that uh, the, the the budget cover, and then for the marketing of the movie, you have to figure double, so thirty million, um, and then you can start thinking about 
breaking even and making money after that point. So, and anything beyond that is good. So anything if when somebody is like your company has spent in $13 million, how much should it earn so that you feel that it is laughing for the way? It is double the money or triple the money. Obviously, there is no end to money, but still. What is the yardstick of the industry? It, that's a hard one to say because something that is a, a, a million or, or a, a million or two million dollar budget is, is going to have a whole different outcome than something that is a 50 million dollar budget and going up. But I would say that if you can cover your investors and the investments, and, uh, and cover the marketing. A lot of people go into uh, making a film and just think about covering the, the, the budget. But if you don't have money for marketing, you're, you're, you will never make money. So, so we, we look at that as a, as a, a really important, you know, very unnecessary um, amount of money to have as well. So we say at least two times and and uh, and and of course, there's banking interests and so forth. So that can be twenty five percent, or for even more, if, depending on where you got your money from. Um, and so um, I would say that once you are you've covered the initial investment and twenty five percent for the for low uh, interest on all of that and the marketing money and, and Pinterest on that, um, then you're starting to be break even and you will start to make money on it. And then that will make people very happy. Then your investors will say, okay, we'll come back again for an another round. Uh, one more thing which comes to my mind is that uh, when the budget is there, let us say again $30 million, and the producer is generally the revenue Especially this question is for the, the new producers who are coming in and they should know from where does the money come in from different sources like sending of the media right, some advertisements or sending of it in the theatres etc. So on a percentage, what comes from where uh, for a new producer to actually more gain that okay this is how they can make money from the rights of the sending to the right in a city or a theatre or Whatever it might be. Yeah. There's different windows of making money. Yeah. And uh, when we sell a film, the older way of selling it is we would sell it to a distributor from from each territory. You know, whether it's from uh, Spain or Germany or India, we would sell the rights. And that packet of rights would be the theatrical, the TV rights, the home video rights, the uh, streaming rights, uh, and, uh, and 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 they they would give us a sum of money for all of those rights, and then on top of that, we would have a back end participation, uh, very often 50-50, uh, after they have recouped their advance. And, and their costs. And then then, then it would be just to safety. But the newer way of, of selling movies is to break off all of those rights and to sell them in division. And, um, and could, because there are a lot of buyers now that want just the streaming rights, just the ABOD or the SBOD uh, windows. And, um, and and that's and, and so what you have to do is put in holdbacks and say, okay, I'll sell you those VOD rights, but you have to hold it back for six months or a year so that I can now try to sell off a theatrical rights, if it's viable for that film, uh, or uh, the home video rights. Although that's a dwindle in the marketplace, as most countries, a lot of countries don't have the DVD anymore. Yeah. It's yeah. a sort of vanishing thing. Um, but then, when you get to the streaming rights, even that gets chopped up. There, the the first window of it and the streaming rights will be the SVI, the subscription, 
And then the second or that can end uh, alongside that will be the C by, which is the transactional rights. And on the last set of rights, which these days is being the most lucrative, are the Avon and advertise of arthritis, which has a much longer tail. So it will it can go on and you can make you know, uh, most of your money from the Avon rights these days, if it's marketed properly and handled nicely. Okay, uh, you are a veteran in this industry. How many films has your company produced? Uh, we've executive produced and produced um, 50, 60 films and um, some and television series. Um, We've been busy, <laughs> and we now have uh, two channels, uh, Dark Matter TV and Made of Myself TV. What is it that the industry has already given you by making so many friends, and uh, what is it that you have given back to the industry as a veteran? What have I earned and what have I given back? Oh, that's a tough question. Um, yeah. I I, uh, <laughs> um, I have to say I'm, I've been really lucky to have survived <laughs> and thrived in this industry um, and doing what I love to do. I love to be creative. I love business. And so I get to work both sides of my brain. And uh, my, my children are, are in the business. Uh, with me and my my husband is my partner so it's been uh, personally it's been very gratifying to be able to um, do what I love to do and uh, and and have success with it anything which you would like to give back to the industry uh, what I want to give back uh, I love having uh, interns come through the the company and uh, and help guide their careers and 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 teach them and uh i love having a tv channel uh that that people enjoy and and you know gives them pleasure to to watch um i'm i'm a a crafter at heart so having um a craft uh tv station then you can turn on and watch all kinds of crafts for me, it's like a kid in a candy store. So to be able to offer that to my fellow crafters, I love that. Um, let's talk about new people coming into the marketplace. I think that it's important to go to school and get training in whatever area you're interested in, or, or just start out generally and, and see what interests you. It's most important that you get it's most important that it's in your heart that you love it. You know, if you want to be a, a, an editor, you have to love doing that because being in the film industry is, uh, it's like a drug. So for, for young people coming into the business, it's important that you love the business because it takes up so much time and, and uh, dedication. It's an art form. Whether you're an editor or a cinematographer or an artist, you really have to dedicate your life to it, um, and and, uh, and and it has to be in in your blood because it's not like a regular job. It's not that you go to work at nine o'clock and come home at six. Uh, you might work be working twenty four hours straight, but uh, it's a love relationship. Um, and so, uh, so I recommend that what, whatever you're going into, uh, you, you really enjoy that work and, and um, find a group of people to work with um, that, will, uh, that will be mentors to you and, uh, and you can grow from. It's always a good opportunity if you can find a place that you can insure when you're first getting into the business because you, you, you will learn from the experience of, of others. You'll, you'll make contacts uh, that, that, uh, you, that you can then go on and, and, uh, and work with those people in other areas uh, and other jobs. 
We're, we, we are always open to meeting new interns that, that want to get into the business. So Tricos Worldwide, that should be one of your stops in Los Angeles. I welcome you.